he has had the biggest growth spurt of his life left. Oh, really cool. Look at all this work you've been doing, man. Look at this, so, everyone. Now you'll be able to see. Look at how nice that lid is. I mean, Super it's, light. It's, no, it's not light. I mean, it's oh, three quarter wow. inch plywood. With foam on top, okay. So I now you can see. Look at this. That is really cool, man. You created a form and then poured it, and now you've got this beautiful bunker. You're just giving me tons of ideas. I, I get inspired. I want to add to this shelving coming around. I love it. And then down also into that. Yes. I love that Jerry has a never ending supply of eggs for these lizards. Hey, what's going on? We're about to. Uh, just barge in on Jerry and see what he's been doing with his lizard cages. He's been feverishly working hard and listening to the Beatles, it turns out. But anyway, hi Jerry, we're barging in on you, bro. There's no warning with me, man. This place looks amazing already. Holy smokes, look at this, guys. No way, I want him to show us, so we should wait for him to get done with his work. But he has been just working his butt off, making these really cool enclosures. Um, and beyond that, you're making some really cool, those boxes look amazing. The heat shelters. Because all the big lizards are going to stay outside for the winter. Okay. So That's amazing, man. That's one that's... I not just did the stucco on it today, but okay, I can well, show you... Well, which ones... One. Which Well, let's look at how you did it first. Let, Wet, it's so wet. Oh, I'm we can't lift it up. All right, well, I'm but just going to show you with one of the other ones. Cool. All right, well, check it out, guys. He poured concrete. They're like little bunkers. And then this lid is made of um, foam, huh? Three quarter inch plywood and then three quarter inch styrofoam around it. Nice. No to way. To insulate it. Yeah. The walls are two and a half inches thick, solid <laughs> concrete. There's an eight inch concrete slab underneath it for elevation. If this winter we get a hard rain, the lizards are going to stay dry. Awesome. There's going to be a heat mat below them and above them, the one on top will have a thermostat on it. That's so cool, man. This doesn't have the door on it yet. Okay. But there's a, a door for it. That's so, so rad. Right now, John and Jane are confined to the one cage right now. All right. And you know, interestingly enough, we have to just note these two. You sent me a picture of them. They're getting along so amazing. Let me get an egg to we can walk in there okay. with them. Let me just Yeah, this is so cool. So he sent me a photo the other day and it was literally Jane on top of John sleeping. They're just getting along magnificently. We've got the eggs. The eggs are looking good. I did a check. Everything's looking awesome. Amazing. What do we have? Only uh eight and a half more months, right? <laughs> what could go wrong? Net. What could go wrong? <laughs> anyway, let's not jinx it. But um these two are amazing and um We've got eggs from them, as you guys already know. But so let's see. She's already put she all great. of her weight on. She's definitely a different lizard now. She's more defensive. Oh, really? She's, before she was shy and run and hide. Now she'll stay out. Okay. But if you, you get too close, she'll hiss and whip. Okay. She's, well, we don't want to stress her out too much. I'll just put the camera right there. Now, what were you planning to do with that egg? Uh, well, if John got overly curious when oh, okay. he got in here, just to keep this him This is occupied. so cool. She looks great. It looks like she actually but, put some weight on herself. Come here, John. Come on. That's a rad. He he has the, had the biggest growth spurt of his life lately. He's getting so big. Wait until you see the black throat monitor that we saw. Um, you got to watch the video. Um, uh, we saw a black throat at Wild Florida that was about seven foot long. Wow. And and John's got so much more to go. And you said he's been putting on size. You can see he's shedding more. That's awesome. So do you think these enclosures, just being outside, he's putting on a lot more, uh, I mean, he always had a large enclosure, but. Yeah, he's always been in a big enclosure. Well, look at him, he's about to tail whip. Oh man, because I'm behind him, but he is awesome. Look at that guy. There he is. So once the, the heat box is done on the other cage. I'll move them both over there. Okay. And then, then I'll do the one in here. Okay. And so each one, they're, they're going to have their own separate boxes in but case. But I'm changing up their shelving. I'm adding more shelving. Okay. And I'm adding a lower maintenance water tub. Gotcha. Which you can see in the next. Oh, slide. really cool. Look at all this work you've been doing, man. 
Uh, there's a reason why we haven't been having many uh, lunch lunch dates. This wow. guy's working through lunch, man. Nuts. Look at this. That's awesome. So the male black dragon is about to be moved over here. In the when next you, when are you going to do that? Um, I put a transfer box in there okay. and I'm letting him get used to it. So I'll just open up his hide that he's using right now, remove some of the walls so it's okay. no longer a safe place for him. He'll use this other hide that's small. Okay. And then I can just pick it up and put him right and in. carry it over here. That's all. Awesome. No stress. Look at this, so everyone. Now you'll be able to see. Look at how nice that lid is. I mean, super it's, light. It's no, it's not light. It's not light. Oh, it's not, there you it's go. It's not light. I mean, oh, it's three quarter wow. inch plywood with foam on top. Okay. So I now gotcha. you can see there'll that be a awesome. heating pad screwed to this, right? And on the bottom in there. That's incredible, man. Look at this. So there's I mean, two so flaps well on the door to create an oh, air like air, an air vacuum. Look at that. So you got so the even the door flaps are somewhat insulated. That is really cool, man. Look at this. And he used a little um, scrap pond liner that I had, and he cut them into these passive air barriers, which is really cool. And I don't and then, know if I'll get to before this winter because it's coming so soon. Yeah. Um, but I will paint the inside. So, I mean, I feel like maybe the lime in, in, or the, the Portland in the concrete may dry their skin. Okay. Or, I don't know. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But why not seal it? Yeah, look at that. I mean, guys, what do you think? He poured all this and, you know, he created a form, right? You created a form and then poured it. And now you've got this beautiful bunker. And to be honest, man, um, again, like, again, you're just giving me tons of ideas. Um, so you're all about function and simplicity, right? That's kind of how you do I mean, it. I would love to have a natural habitat, Uh huh. but when there's this many lizards to right. clean cages and maintain. Yeah. No, and there's nothing wrong with that. I was just gonna say like, see when you guys are gonna see how Jerry does things and some of you, um, I, I get inspired. And so I'm looking at this going, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Like, like you could pile, I would put more soil and yeah. you could hide the this. The soil would only insulate it better. Yeah. And uh, I only need to lift up the lid. Right once or twice a year. So it doesn't need to be easy to do. I could bring some logs and stuff over yeah. there and, and hide this more. I know it's kind of an eyesore. No, it it's like not a, an eyesore at all. You, you don't like misunderstand. It's a bunker. The it, handle it looks like looks a pill really, box, right? Yeah. You know, I thought about putting like a, a natural wood handle or something no, real pretty man. on there. No, 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 Listen, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's awesome. And it's just, there's so much you can do with it. Like, I'm just always looking at things like, for me, I'm selfish like that, I guess. And I'm thinking, oh my God, this is awesome. We could put dirt up here, we can hide this. And now you have this bulletproof bunker that, you know, even in a hurricane, this is gonna be really a, a structurally sound piece of equipment for your animals. So I'm not knocking it in the least. I can tap on a piece of wood over the entrance of everyone's hides right. and know that if, if a, lo a branch came through these cages, yeah. They're Nothing's, safe. Everything They're not getting loose. Everyone is safe. That is awesome, man. And um, you did see, I, I think you were, what was it, a Facebook group? You There was someone who uh, kind of A reptile you... breeder, Jim Heck. Okay. I think he nicknamed yeah. him Heck Hides. Okay. And so he's engineered them. He knows what the heat mats are going to do in every different outside temperature and different ranges, what the thermostat needs to be set at. So he has a plan and a design and he knows it works. I just... It was a three quarter inch plywood top and bottom okay. with two by sides. And you just slightly larger. He has a setup for under four foot monitors, monitors four to six and a half and six and a half and up. You're just the little pig that built his house out of cement. That's yeah. it, dude. You didn't just, use wood, you use cement. But it still adheres to those um, specs, his, his the general size, plans. the dimensions yeah. rather. Very cool, man. Petey, what do you think? Should dad make you a dog house or what, dude? And then what do you got here? We got simply Rubbermaid tubs. What are these? The 50 gallons or 100? This is the 50s. This is 50s. So I these think all the black throats are going to get 50s because okay. they like to soak, but they don't necessarily need to swim. Gotcha. Um, what are you going to do with the water? The 150s. 150s. Wow. I cool. would love to do 300s, but uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. That's, That's awesome. A lot. Knowing this that you great. have to clean it every day. Yeah. Um, 
So I'm cool. gonna set the water up on a timer where it overflows right. every day, like maybe three cages at a time. We'll cool. run for 15 minutes yeah. and let them overflow a little bit. And then I could maybe only cool have to it? thoroughly clean them once a week. Yep, maybe that makes more. sense. No, that's what I but used to we'll, do. We'll see. Makes so sense. This is a, I wanna add to this shelving. So awesome. Coming around. I love it. And then down also into that. And, th and this, that's easy. I could stick it out into the opening there. I could move it wherever because there's still the option that there could be a male in this cage and I need to have a door into the other cage there. And well, I won't be able to there, but maybe a ramp and a door into the screen or something. Cool. Very cool, man. You've just been kicking I'll major butt. Out. I love this. That is awesome. I knew people would be stoked to see what he was up to. Um, the animals are just going to be so so happy and the female black dragons in here yeah so rad that is cool man all right you want to see uh yes the new male black yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes let me get some more eggs all right you go do that how cool man so the male black dragons in here that's that nest box he was He'll talking come about out for us oh willie he's he's so curious no way really because the last time he was shy let's see because this was the guy that was really not not well and um, both of us had a hand in keeping him uh, alive man he was just out when you pulled up oh was he I think yeah. I scare him come on oh, look at here this. we go look at this that is awesome guys so you know that eggs there to see to see this lizard active he ate alert. a big meal yesterday Did he? and he ate some today i put some food inside that hide so he knew it was safe to walk in there oh that's so cool i hope he walks all the way out because he's put his weight back on oh my gosh this lizard was we thought he was gonna die we were we were really nervous man and the fact that you were able uh remember he was missing toes he was had a, a abscess in his mouth. You could see one on his foot that's yep. right there. Yeah, you can. Look at him though. Yeah, I'm not surprised if he doesn't eat. He's... No, no worries. It just the fact that he came out a little bit, that's awesome. And the reason you want to do this shift box is you don't want to stress him out. You don't want to um, give him a negative um, experience with you, right? I mean, after everything he went through, that stressing him out, handling him is the last thing I want to do. Gotcha. He's starting to come out, you yeah. know? Whenever I do his water, he'll come out, walk around. Oh. Well, at least we got to see a little bit of him. That's so cool, Jerry. So, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll remove the big doors off the side. Okay. And open that up so it's no longer a safe hiding place. And I'll keep putting his food in there so he knows it's safe to walk in there. And uh, he should start using that as his hide box in the next two days. Really cool. And I'll just close the door on it. It has a little latch on it. Yeah. I can just pick that up, carry it in the other enclosure, open up the door. Done. Yeah, that's Done. great. No stress. I love it. No stress at all, man. Um, and then I am going to peel all the screen. I still have to do the concrete walls in here. Peel all this. Once I move her, peel all her screen off and then remove the screen from there. All the small lizards on the cages on wheels will probably winter back in my shop. Okay. But roll them outside on sunny days and then roll them back into my shop. Gotcha. It gets too in cold during yeah. night. That's cool. Um, and then by next winter, everyone will be big enough and all the enclosures will be done. That's awesome, man. What a, what a project, huh? That is so cool, bro. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> it's an everyday project. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Keeps us out of trouble though, right? Our yeah. wives like the fact that we're, we stay out of trouble. We're always in the backyard. Anyway, there's the black dragon. Walk out. As soon as yep. we walk away, I'm sure. That's fine. I, I'm just happy that he's, you know, feeling so good, man. That's so rad. Killer. Whew. Oh, we left Pete. That's Pete's. what that noise was. Hey, sorry, Petey. <laughs> That's not a Petey cage. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's a good boy, that dog. See, there's another one right here. Man, he's been this just This is who cranking. I want you to meet today. Oh, yeah? Let's see. Let's go in here. All right, we'll leave Petey out. Yeah, we don't want Pete in here. Oh, no way. 
that's the new black dragon. A uh, black black throat. throat. I always uh, there's so many blacks here. I can't keep track of them. That is so that he is hiding in the small transfer box. <laughs> that is not his hide box. Okay. That's what I use to move him from another cage, and he is somehow or another. Come on. Oh, there's an eggy. He's a good eater. That is so cool. Look at him squirming out. Yep. He's actually quite large. Whoa. Yeah, he is. He's a good size. <laughs> He's awesome. This is my first time meeting him, man. Yes. I love that Jerry has a never ending supply of eggs for these lizards, man. It's such a good meal for them. Look at this guy. Hey, buddy. So how long has he been with you now? A um, couple weeks. That's so cool. You okay? Look at that, right down. Oh, he's cool, man. Congratulations. I can't wait till Bobby Rubino gets this big. I can't wait till we hatch out those babies. Oh, man, look out. That's beautiful. These lizards are certainly going to be happy. Look how curious he is of the camera. Or the, the smell of the, the eggs. The other eggs we have. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. All right, well, there you have it, people. We have seen a lot of cool additions to Jerry's growing population of monitor lizards and certain things that he's doing. Uh, hey, where can they go on Facebook? Can they join that group if they're monitor lovers? I couldn't tell you exactly <laughs> oh, no. which group that is. All right, well, check out Jim Heck, right? Jim? Jim Heck. Jim Heck. Look for him on Facebook, giving him some credit. Uh, and man, there you go. Good stuff. This is how we learn. So we like to pass it along to you. Does this guy have a name yet? Lil John. Lil John, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lil John. All right, man, there you go, everybody. I hope you like Lil John. Don't forget John and Jane in the other enclosure. We got their offspring cooking right now back at the camp. And uh, there, is, there is another black throat. There is? A little female. He's got a little female also. So we'll show her on another video. In the meantime, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of what Jerry's doing out here? You guys stoked or what? I am, I think it's amazing. Really glad this dude's my friend, man. We are trading off ideas and talents. And uh, man, Jerry, you're kicking major butt here on your farm. So congrats, brother. Just working hard. All right, everyone. From uh, little John and the rest of us, we'll see you all soon. Hey, that's my finger. Are you gonna bite me? Nah, you're a smart lizard. Oh, you're cool. All right, everyone, we'll see you later. Me and little John are just getting acquainted. See ya.